What's up guys, you're Friday Night with Demon here bringing a new video and today we're going to be talking about the Blast Premier Global Finals. A little preview for the, for the tournament. 18 tournament, obviously all of these teams have qual previously qualified in the last Blast events. Into this tournament, it's a straight double elimination, double elimination bracket. So there's no group stage or anything. Obviously a group stage with 8 teams is basically pointless, but essentially the group stage <laughs> was technically the other tournaments. They've qualified for this sort of playoffs, uh, this uh, playoff series. So it's just double elimination uh, bracket we've got here. We've got Astralis, uh, obviously top one team in the world at the moment, or ranked top te one team. Uh, Vitality number two, Navi number three. So we've got the three best teams in the world at this tournament already. Furia, uh, obviously this this is going to be interesting. Uh, we'll, we'll go into that, we'll go into that. Uh, G2, Liquid. Complexity and Evil Genius. There's a lot of storylines going on here. We're coming off the back of the uh, this, the winter break, the Christmas break, the the play break over over the winter. Um, been ages since the last event. I can't even remember, man. Where when was when when we talking? Not going to be. Uh, when was what was the last event? I am Global Challenge. 19th of December, is that right? Liquid, 3-0. 20th of December, last time we saw Tier 1 Counter-Strike. 3-0 from Astralis to Liquid. Obviously, this is Twist's last game with Liquid. Uh, last tournament of the year, big tournament. And now we're going in nearly a month later, three weeks. Well, it will be basically a month later. But it starts on the 19th, doesn't it? Yeah, 19th of January, so a lot, 20th of December, 19th of January is quite a, a big gap. But there's lots to talk about here. There's 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 a lot been going on, there's, there's been a crap ton of news going on. Fnatic signed Jaquinho, Endpoint announced Academy Program, Extra Salt, X Cloud 9 uh, signed Fang, um, Extreme closing on Bentec deal. Look at all this news, man. Actually to Ego. Envy put CSGO on hold. Crystal to... Oh man, so much news over the player break. There's still so much more to come. I mean, yeah, there's just a lot more to come. Including, like, uh, whoever's going to fill in the spot. It's probably going to be Junior, um, according to sources from Triumph. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. Let's take a look at the matchups then. So, we've got EG take, taking on... We've got the top seed taken on the bottom seed. Uh, EG dropped down to 18th in the rankings. Um, they haven't been in Europe since, I can't even remember now, October or something. Uh, obviously, they didn't come back over to play the IM Global Challenge uh, due to COVID-related uh, things. So this is going to be a tough matchup. But um, EG are always a dangerous team, man. They're always a dangerous team. See what they've been working on over, over in NA over the past few months. I'm sure they're going to come out um, come out hot. Um, Astralis, on the other hand, they, they do go a bit slow at the start of the year, so we'll see what see what they come up with. But they did just come off the back of the IM, IM Global Challenge win. We've got G2 versus Furia. So this is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to still call it the new G2 with Nico. They haven't really played much with Nico in terms of officials. I'm sure they've been practicing. Um, but it's very interesting how Nico is going to slot into this team still. How how and if uh, G2 are going to change. They're obviously going to change a little bit to, to suit Nico style over Jax's. Um, they'll probably use Nico more than they did Jax in terms of uh, using him as a fragger because we know that's uh, what Nico's good at. Uh, who's the other one? Furia. I, I, yeah, I mentioned before we got probably Junior coming in to fill in the spot. Uh, that Henny's left. Um, obviously, Henny left. He wanted to play with his brother. That's fair enough. <laughs> Um, that's a huge decision to make on one of the best to leave one of the best teams in the world and and being one of the ranked as one of the best players in the world on HLTV as well was he 16 or something like that. Um, vitality versus complexity. So vitality, incredibly strong year. I think they were the best team in 20 uh, 2020. <laughs> that's the one we're in 2021 now. Um, so consistent. A lot of second places. Um, not so many first. I think that's why Astralis still took the top spot. But Vitality were really strong throughout the year. They really showed themselves as a top contender, even after losing Alex and Apex coming as IGL. 
and they brought into the the mix the six proper a proper six man roster with a rotation uh, with Vera also there facing against complexity. Now this complexity is I believe going to be out without poison. Uh, Yugi to stand in for complexity at last premiere. This is a questionable. They tried uh, Otten, Otto Otto um, their previous tournament when poison was out. <laughs> they didn't do too good, understandably. A quick replacement to try and try and get them on their feet, and Otto wasn't really the one. I think Poison does add with his style does add a lot of uh, a lot of impact to complexity. He has a very aggressive, fast style of uh, orping, and that can be hard to replace if you just if you start in a device kind of orper. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna get some frags, but he he won't create. Uh, the sort of opportunities potentially that poison does um and if complexity are built in that way then a uh, more passive open might not work with that which brings into question first of all yugi hasn't been good for for quite a while um he obviously stood in for astralis for a little while um you see his 2020 was not good at all but damage around pretty good but the rest of his stats are very poor how many maps did he play he played 23 maps and these are really poor stats. It's an interesting decision. They pick up Yuri. Uh, Yuri. Yugi. Um, obviously, there's two Danes on, on Complexity already. So they clearly probably have uh, some expectations of Yugi and think that he can still do some damage. But uh, he does have experience. So hopefully he'll uh, slot in in a reasonable way. They've probably been practicing with him more than they did Otto, so we'll, we'll see what they can do with with uh, with Yugi. <laughs> Literally <laughs> turning into a Danish team. Also, I'm very excited to see uh, what how they may have incorporated JKS a bit more. Because uh, big fan of JKS over here. What have we got else? Na'Vi versus Liquid. This is quite an interesting matchup. Once again, um, obviously, oh, why did I close that? Why did I close that tab? Again, this is another interesting matchup. Big news is that Fallen is replacing Wiss, who left at the end of I'm Global Challenge to stay in Europe, move on to new things. Uh, and Fallen is his replacement of the IGL Orpa. This is a different look for Liquid. They haven't had a dedicated Orpa for, I'm, I'm not even sure how long, but not for a long time. They haven't had a dedicated Orpa, but definitely not in 2019 or 2020. Uh, NAF on a hybrid, Shubi on a bit of a hybrid sometimes um, over the last couple of years, but they haven't had a, an experienced um, Orpa on the team. And that that is something that Fallen can really add to the team, especially and his in-game leading and leadership. He's done it before, he's made it to the top, it's whether he can do it again. And with this group of players, we know this group of players can can do well. Um, NAF and Elysia have proved it, Stewie has proved it. Brim, he's still yet to prove the top level. Um, but he has got the fragging potential, just whether he can mold with this team and really make it work. And Na'Vi, they've been the same five man for, for over a year now at least. I can't even remember when they picked up Perfecto, but they're number three ranked team in the world. Um, they, they won Katowice last year. They've been doing very well uh, in general, uh, obviously to be the number three ranked team. And they've got the, the duo of Simple and Electronic. Um, not really much storylines here. Um, I guess the big storyline is if Flamey Flame can still prove his worth in this team. I think a lot of people are starting to think that uh, Flamey potentially hasn't got any more, whether it's his roles or, or something like that. This, yeah, I mean, it, as a fragger, as a, as the, these kinds of stats aren't particularly enticing. Uh, but when you have <laughs> simple and electronic popping off, I guess it doesn't. Uh, particularly Ma, what what kind of stats does Perfecto have? Okay, so it's similar. Um, you would consider Perfecto a bit more of a support role though, um, or I do anyway. And Electronic is simple, obviously the Fraggers, the High Fraggers, Flamey, the, the the trio you could call, but he hasn't really been doing much. Um, I mean, he's, I'm sure he's been doing his role. I haven't really watched many Flamey demos or anything like that, so I can't really comment much. Then we've got Boomish IGL, so... Um, he has definitely have his impact. He's 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 kind of a a space maker, old Boomich, and he's a really fun guy to watch. Yeah, this should be an interesting matchup. 
I wonder how I re I'm really interested in how Liquid are going to be prepared and how they're going to change things. As I said, double elimination bracket. So losers go in the the two losses and you're out of the out of the ta out of the championship. Um, my personal prediction. I don't know. I, I would expect Vitality, I mean, if I, Vitality, okay, I expect Astralis to win this. I I think this is quite open, to be honest. I think it depends. I feel like G2 could be vulnerable to the way Fury are play, um, especially if uh, they play as passive phase was uh, with Nico, but hopefully they haven't changed like that um, because of Nico. And they still, still keep uh, Nexus system. Uh, this could be close, but I would put it to G2 um, just because their star potential and the fragging power and the, the system they, they should have in place. Vitality and complexity. Vitality should win. Uh, and I would put the edge on Na'Vi here. Um, big Liquid fan, but um, it's a little time. I mean, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure that Liquid have been practicing with Fallen for quite a long time now. Um, but I think Na'Vi could be too strong for Liquid. Um, this is their first official... Um, with Fallen, so there's, there's, is it, it's even going to be a honeymoon period, or they're just going to smack, or they're going to be um, a bit, a bit shaky, you know. If they've been applied a new system, um, they'll have to get used to it, you know. I'm not going to predict the rest of the tournament. If anything can happen. Um, I would, I think, but obviously, I mean, anyone can win this. I, well, actually, I, I, I take that back. I don't think Plex will win it um, with a stand in. But though I'm sure they'll put up a fight. A huge prize pool here. Six hundred oh whoops. Uh six hundred grand for, for winners. Bet two hundred for second and then it heavily drops off for the other guys. So you really want to place well. Uh first or second would be a nice little prize, but it's a million pound prize pool or dollar prize pool. And heavily weighted up up. Uh it starts on the nineteenth, so we'll be looking forward to that. Oh, I'm sure I'll be doing some more videos on the outcome of everything. I, I'm planning on doing a G2 uh, video on how they changed before and after Nico. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll see you next time. Subscribe for more and yeah, see you soon.